Hello and welcome to Advanced Heating and Plumbing. Today we're going to get you to solve the problem of repressurizing your boiler. You will get a fault on the boiler commonly known as F22 and if this comes up it'll be flashing up on the display panel here and this normally means you need to have pressure put back into the boiler. My name's Tony Hernandez at Advanced Heating and Plumbing and we cover emergency breakdowns in and around London and Hertfordshire. The problem I'm going to help you with today is how to repressurize your boiler. So let's get on with the game today. As you can see, you've got an F22 coming up on the display there, and it's telling us that there is only 0.1 of a bar in there. And if you have a look, you can see on this side is a little gauge. See that gauge? There's no darkness taking place in that gauge. So we're gonna go underneath the boiler and we're gonna find what we call the filling loop. So underneath here, as you can see on this boiler, it has two dials, one here and yes, one here. This is the filling loop underneath the boiler. Okay, you can normally see because there's a hose connecting them. There are other types of filling loop, but this one is built into the boiler. So here we're gonna go, we're gonna turn this one on there we go and now we're going to turn the other one on here can you see this one here we go can you hear it going in okay and now a look at this here we're waiting for this to go up to the middle it's also telling us the pressure it's given a fault code of f22 so here we go it's going up to three half a bar now there we go half a bar in here there we go now the f22 is gone now we're waiting for this to go up to the middle please make sure once you've done this pressurization that you put this back to normal there we go that should be the normal screen display we're showing pressure in there and we want to make sure that we have turned off our valves underneath there we go, we're back in business. I hope that our video has helped you to get your boiler repressurized. And do remember to repressurize the boiler, you need to use the filling loop underneath the boiler. Make sure you've got the correct pressure on the front and then you're good to go. Re-isolate the filling loop underneath and you should be back to working order. Thank you very much for watching our video and I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you'd like any further advice, or guidance, please have a look at our YouTube channel or get in touch with us at www.advancedheatingplumbing.co.uk. We hope to see you again very soon and stay safe.